Hey VC, this is Chris. I'm uh, here to do a follow-up video. A couple of weeks ago, I had done uh, a video that was uh, pretty much folk from the British Isles. So this time I'll do uh, American-oriented folk for the most part. There may be something else that slips in, but pretty much it's American. So it'll start out with the uh, um, big three, I guess, of American folk, sort of like the big four of uh, thrash metal. Uh, Kingston Trio, 1962, I mean, uh, sorry, 1958. Um, Dave Gard, Bob Shane, and Nick Reynolds. And that, that lineup continued for four years until uh, Dave Gard left. Uh, this one has uh, Sloop John B. on it. Beach Boys did it uh, a couple years later. Tom Dooley, their big uh, radio hit. A lot of people have done that song. This is on uh, Capitol. It's a color band version. So Kingston Trio uh, debut album 1958. In uh, 1963, sing a song with the Kingston Trio. Dave Gard has, uh, he left the previous year in 62. So they got John Stewart to uh, join in. So this is uh, like karaoke. Kingston Trio. You know, they got rid of the vocals and just provided music so you can sing along. 1963, still on Capitol. And uh, 1966. Just a sampling of Kingston Trio albums. Uh, back in town, uh, there's John Stewart, Bob Shane, Nick Reynolds, Live at the Hungry Eye in San Francisco, 1966. They do Tom uh, Dooley again, since this is a concert, and some Them poems. Them lunch toters, them licks, stamp lickers, and them or doors. And then there's this album on Tetragrammaton, uh, 19, also 1966. Two LP set. There's the uh, Tetragrammaton label. Once upon a time. And uh, they. Well, they carried on for a while, but really, 67, they kind of, was the end of the uh, original, semi-original Kingston Trio. And this is from 1982, 25 years non-stop. So, Bob Shane is the uh, only original member at this point. And he's got George Grove and Roger Gamble uh, backing him up. They, had, uh, they were in that uh, version for several years. But this is on the, the Ziri's label.
1982. Then uh, the next big group out of the big three, the way I'm uh, phrasing it, Limelighters. So this is 1959, which I think is their debut album. On this is on Electra. That gold Electra label. And I don't see any overlap uh, with the Kingston Trio on this one. Uh, they do John Henry, the Steel Driving Man, the Hammer Song. Some uh, a Jewish farm song from, from the Crimea, Malaguena Salarosa, uh, Kinks, I mean Limelighters, featuring Glenn Yarbrough, who uh, later went off on a solo career. Uh, John Stewart from the Kingston Trio, version 2, also went off on a solo career, but those are uh, separate videos. So here's uh, Limelighters, Tonight in Person, 1961. So uh, uh, Glenn Yarbrough, they even do a John Stewart song, Kingston Trio writer. Heading for the Hills. Uh, Alex Hasselhoff, Glenn Yarbrough, this, uh, this is on RCA now. Just a, pretty much a standard RCA label tonight in person. And they continued up until the mid mid 60s, and then uh, the last of the big three. I'm saying the Chad Mitchell Trio. Chad Mitchell was the uh, head of this group. So this is uh, on Coal Picks from uh, 1959. Coal Picks label. Then in uh, 1960, there was uh, they put out this uh, split LP. Chad Mitchell trio on one side, and the Gateman on the other side. This is also on Coal Picks 1960. Via Con Dios was one of the songs that the Chad Mitchell Trio did. Uh, the Gateman did uh, Wabash Cannonball, Green Leaves of Summer, 500 Miles. And then uh, Mighty Day on Campus, 1961. This marks the, uh, I think, the debut of uh, Roger McGuinn, otherwise known as Jim McGuinn, right there, former, uh, later in The Birds. He was the uh, guitar accompaniment for them. This is on the cap label. Oops, cap. So 
they do a version of uh, Lizzie Borden who was taking her axe and giving people lots of wax and then uh, that's the way Chad Mitchell trio 1965 uh, even though they were called Chad Mitchell Trio, Chad Mitchell had left and uh, a younger John Denver had taken his place. Mike Kobluk and Joe Frazier were the other two members. So John Denver came in on uh, vocals to make, round out the trio. And they had switched to uh, Mercury at this point. So just uh, looks like a normal red Mercury label. And then I think the last Chad Mitchell trio called Alive. Still with John Denver, but he had uh, asserted himself and he wrote uh, three or four or so of the songs on here and was playing 12 string guitar uh, still uh, now they'd switch to uh, reprise this tricolor reprise and it's uh, labeled a promo album And uh, 1960, Highwaymen on uh, United Artists, featuring the hit song Michael. So another in the li line of these uh, folk groups, the Highwaymen. And uh, the journeyman. This looks like it could be a uh, promo with that sticker on the front. But introducing the journeyman. This was uh, 1961 on Capitol. They do 500 miles, which uh, was done by one of the other earlier groups. And then uh, another journeyman, 19, 1963, New Directions. So if you look closely, you see that's uh, Scott McKenzie, who uh, wore a flower in his hair in San Francisco. Uh, John Phillips from the Mamas and the Papas and Dick Weissman the journeyman 6 1963 on capital and uh, also in this folk vein uh, new Christy minstrels 1962 on Columbia. This has uh, Columbia 2i. This has a Barry McGuire before he went out single with the Eve of Destruction and other albums to follow that. Ian and Sylvia, so I strayed from uh, the United States and went up to uh, Canada, but uh, 1961, I think this is their debut album on Vanguard. So 
so a folk duo which I tried to stay with groups but couldn't quite hold myself to it um, the folk swingers 1963 this is sort of like uh, the Dillards minus one of their members and they substituted Glenn Campbell on 12 string for this so this is sort of straddling the line of uh, folk and uh, bluegrass but for this video I'll include it as the on the folk side if I had a hammer walk right in the answer is blowing in the wind cotton fields Wabash Cannonball, somebody else did that. Dark as a Dungeon. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video down here, or with this particular view, is it's been raining pretty much all day, so I figured I'd go down in the basement, similar to uh, a dark dungeon, and film this. Then, uh, Brothers 4. This is uh, on Columbia for 1962. Columbia 6-Eye. The Zulu Warrior, Samakama Wacky Brown, whatever that is, I don't remember. Yellow Bird, Greenfields. Hard traveling. I think uh, Kingston Trio did a version of that. Then uh, we get this album by Dave Hill and the Whiskey Dave Guard and the Whiskey Hill Singers. This was after he'd left uh, the Kingston Trio. So this is 1963, I think. 1962 on. Uh, Capital label. <coughs> so he's doing his version uh, The Bonnie Ship, The Diamond. Nobody Knows When You're Down and Out. Brady and Duncan. Now, uh, 1963 Modern Folk Quartet. So this is uh, Henry Diltz, uh, also renowned as a photographer. Chip Douglas, Jerry Yester, and his brother Dave Yester. Jerry Yester uh, went on to Love and Spoonful, I think it was. This is uh, Warner Brothers getting in on the act. To having folk groups. You might see a uh, punch out hole up there, so this is sort of a cutout. Modern folk quartet. Swing down chariot. It was a very good year to catch a shad. Hmm. Um, uh, Greenbrier Boys. This is a compilation from 1972, but it's uh, 1961 to 66. Greenbrier boys on uh, Vanguard. Um, this is another one that kind of straddles the line. Doc Watson with Clarence Ashley. The original Folkways recordings from 1960 to 1962. This was issued by Smithsonian Folkways in uh, 1994. Uh, 2 LP set 
comes with this booklet that I'm not sure to whether to include this with the folk or bluegrass but since Doc Watson's pretty much just a uh, guitarist I'll include it here and then uh, back to modern folk quartet so this is uh, night also 1963 on Warner Brothers this is a compilation uh, Bud Daschle and the Gateway Singers, Lynn Gold, the Phoenix Singers, Modern Folk Quartet. They all do a couple of songs on here. Hoot Tonight. And uh, 1963, the Shacklefords. Until you've heard the Shacklefords, you ain't heard nothing yet on the Mercury label. And then Halifax 3, which we might be getting up to Canada again it sounds like, but not, for, not sure. This is on uh, Epics. Uh, Columbia Special Products issue, 1963. Uh, this includes Dennis Doherty, who uh, went on with uh, being Love and Spoonful later. Is it Special Products label? In uh, 1964, the Agogo Singers. They call us Agogo Singers. This is a reissue of the original roulette release. And we've got a young Stephen Stills over here. And a young Richie Furry over here before uh, Buffalo Springfield. So the go go singers. And then um, Doc Watson. This is a uh, 1986 compilation on Vanguard, the essential Doc Watson, but it's recordings through 1964. Two LP set. Uh, most of these have uh, different people accompanying him. Grady Martin, Tommy Jackson, Buddy Spiker, Clint Howard, his son. And then, uh, uh, let me do this final CD first. Uh, Vince Martin and Fred Neal, 1964, Tear Down the Walls. This is a collector's choice reissue. Um, Vince Neal then went on to uh, put out a bunch of solo albums after this. Uh, some of his songs, The Dolphin, were covered by uh, It's a Beautiful Day. He does I Know You Rider, Tear Down the Walls, Lonesome Valley. So, another duo which sort of what I was trying not to do but in the final vinyl which uh, I think this is uh, from the UK The Seekers 1964 The Four and Only Seekers and then on the back side it has in uh, quotations 
Hide and Seekers. This is on uh, Music for Pleasure label. This little light of mine. Chilly winds. What have they done to the rain? Kumbaya. Well, well, well. Bob Gibson and Hamilton Camp song. So, Seekers, 1964. So that's my uh, non-UK version of uh, early 60s, late 50s folk. So, thanks everyone. Um, you know, there are a lot of artists related to that that could be their whole separate video, like Doc Watson could be one, and uh, John Stewart from the Kingston Trio could be a whole video, and some other people. Uh, Glenn Yarbrough went off and did solo stuff from the Limelighters, but I don't think I have anything by him, maybe one album. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll uh, see you later.